Whenever someone is filled with the Holy Spirit, they're given power for a verbal proclamation of the gospel. They're filled with the Spirit. They spoke boldly. They preached. They declared. They witnessed. They spoke in tongues. They're filled with the ability, the courage to proclaim the gospel. And I want you to think about this. When Paul writes his letters to the churches, he never says, guys, can you pray for me that I would have opportunity to preach the gospel, to witness? Rather, he always writes, would you pray that I would have boldness? See, it's not about opportunity. It's about my end. If something's going to fall short, it's going to be me. And that's why we need power to accomplish the mission, to be witnesses of Jesus' resurrection, of his lordship. And so it goes on and says, and this miracle, I mean, it's a fireworks show. It's a new epoch in salvation history. And verse five says, now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at the sound of the multitude coming together, they were bewildered because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And if you keep reading, you'll see it lists all of these different types of people, all these different ethnic groups, all these different languages. 